Hey yo, look what I found at Target today. Tops 2021 WWE trading cards. Uh, this one has whoop, 77 card total per box. It says collect autographs from your favorite superstars. And there's one relic card per box. 10 packs plus one extra pack, seven cards per pack. So it says look for the all, I'm sorry, look for all the film strip relics featuring memorable WWE matches. So let's get this opened up and see what we have in store. Yeah, I went to Target and, you know, of course, was looking for... The inexistent Marvel medals. Um, I was actually looking for the new Panini WWE 2022 set, and um, didn't see those. So my target sucks. It's actually not my target. I, I live in a town close to a bigger city, and we don't even have a target here. So. All right, 10 packs. Let me go with this first one. This one was the only one there, and I don't know if it just got lost in the back, because I've been to that Target before, and these were not there before, so... All right, we're going to start with uh, Reggie's rookie card. Edge makes a surprise return to action. That was January of 2020. Eva Marie. Trying to make a comeback. Didn't work out. Let's see the Usos return to help Roman Reigns. Samoa Joe, now in Ring of Honor, and Drew McIntyre wins the Men's Royal Rumble match. And the last card we have Jeff Hardy, Mr. DUI, whatever you want to say. Dude just can't stay out of trouble. Next up, we have Charlotte Flair. And then <laughs> the infamous Boneyard match with Undertaker. Says he defeated AJ Styles at WrestleMania. And then we have Finn Balor. Got to meet Finn a few years back. Uh, what is this? Insert coolest mixed tag team Seth Rollins and Becky Lynch. Huh. Angel Garcia defeated Cedric Alexander. Mace. Rookie card. And Lucha House Party defeated The Miz and John Morrison. So. Yeah, 2021 to me didn't really have a lot going on in WWE. I just, WWE in general, it's been really stale for a few years now. And I kind of, you know, with Vince retiring, I thought it was going to get better. But it's really, I don't see any difference. Seth Rollins defeats Rey Mysterio in an eye for an eye match. Ooh, I see something behind that one. Then we have Walter, Carmella, looks like some type of foil, let's see, is this one numbered or anything, no, I 
that's cool. And we have Kyle O'Reilly, Sami Zayn, call him Sami Uso, whatever. <laughs> Drew McIntyre defeats King Corbin. I'm I'm glad the whole King Corbin thing's no more. And I'm glad she came back. Alright. Hopefully I'll get it an autograph. Instead of like a... I don't know what kind of relics they have. If it's like a... You know, ring relic or shirt relic. Jeff Hardy fiercely attacks Seamus. Heat done. Looks totally different now. The New Day retaining the SmackDown Tag Team Championships in a fatal four-way match. Then we have memorable entrances. Bobby the Brain Heenid, 4-4 of 1993. Look at the Fink in the back. He's like, what the hell are you doing, Bobby? And then... Going to another Bobby. Bobby Lashley attacks Drew McIntyre. We have Ra Raquel Gonzalez. She's been on top here lately. And, you know, going from NXT being on Raw. Paulo Cruz wins the United States Championship. All right, right, right. Are we like halfway there? Almost halfway? Alright, this one has Tamina. King Corbin qualifies for the men's money in, in the bank ladder match. We got Roman Reigns, whatever you want to refer to him as head, head of the table uh, looks like a I don't know if that's just a golden variant of Robert Rude Johnny Gar Gargano back again Otis defeated Dolph Ziggler and then we have a Jimmy Uso Man, these are hard to open. This had to have been like lost in the in the back, you know. All right, next we have Drew McIntyre wins the WWE Championship at WrestleMania. Next up, ooh, Liv Morgan. Glad she got the championship. And then we have Shirt Relic When Worlds Collide of Mia Yim, of course, no longer with WWE. Congratulations, you now own an authentic. Oh, this is a event used Matt Relic, so. What sucks? It went in the autograph. Then next up we have Otis qualifies for the men's money in the bank ladder match. It's funny because a lot of these people are no longer in WWE. Bobby Lashley and MVP defeat the Viking Raiders. Then we have Mr. Roderick Strong. I'm not sure where he's been. Is he still out for injury? or? Then you have Cesaro and Shinsuke Nakamura win the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. Ooh, there's another... Hologram. 
Drew McIntyre wins the Men's Royal Rumble. I don't know if that's numbered. Nope. You have Seth Rollins. Randy Orton refuses to explain his attack on Edge. And Keith Lee now in AEW. Where are these... Hall of Fame inserts or whatever. I don't think I've seen any of those yet. Alright, next up we have Alexa Bliss. Kane. Now that's really random. I mean, I'm glad they have legend cards, but is this kind of what they're talking about? I mean, I think it said Hall of Fame, so. On the box. John Morrison defeats Kofi Kingston. Rick Boogs. John Morrison defeats Big E. Drew McIntyre. And then the Street Profits defeat Shane Thorne and Brendan Vink. All right, we have three more, three more packs left. Do drop. Strange name. Never understood it. Andrew Garcia makes his Raw debut. Didn't never cared for him. Kofi Kingston. The Usos defeat Miz and John Morrison. We have Big E. Sheamus returns to action. And Natalia. Always hated him. Never liked him. Probably never will like him. Sorry, y'all. Uh, the Miz and John Morrison attack the Us Usos in the New Day. Carmella, the Common. Then we have RKO. A phenomenal swerve. Didn't realize he had his own inserts. Elias defeats King Corbin in an Intercontinental Championship Tournament match. Then we have the Viking Raiders defeat the Street Profits. And Sonya Deville. Alright, last pack. have Apollo Crews qualifies for the men's Money in the Bank ladder match. Then there's Rey Mysterio. Otis wins the men's Money in the Bank ladder match. I see another hologram behind. Oh, Ooh, the same Apollo card, just a variant. Let's see, Brandy Orton challenges Edge to a wrestling match. Dakota Kai. I like Dakota. Glad to see her back. And then 
Seamus wins a 10 man battle royale. So there we have it. That's the entire 77 cards. I didn't really care for this box, to be honest with you. I think it's just the product at the time or currently it's just not exciting they try to lure people with this on the you know but nope didn't get anything so oh yeah hall of fame card so i guess the cane i don't know i don't know if that was that just said legend card i don't know whatever all right that's it thanks for watching